We're upgrading, boys. New Cat 6 technology. That's right, wired internet. Screw the Wi Fi. Hey guys, welcome into my series of videos on how I'm going about installing a security system. Do you see these two TVs up here? Well, I'd like those to display my cameras surrounding the RV. Now, the first part of this is going to be wiring Ethernet cable throughout my RV, and that's what these videos are showing. So directly under us, like I said, this is the cargo storage bay. So I'll be able to access the cameras easily um, from just opening this or the PoE switches at least. And then from there, this uh, will feed, like I said, uh, to the camera over there in the corner and camera over here. And let me show you the route that I have to take to get into that closet right there. So here's the cargo bay, that would be underneath the stairs. And on where the camera is gonna go, well this one at least, is gonna go right up there in the corner. And uh, let me go ahead and open the cargo bay. Dun -da -da -da. Okay, so like I said, this is under the stairs. That's what you're looking at right there. And uh, yeah, we had a rat in here at one point. This is disgusting, and there, those are rat turds. I need to clean this out. Yeah, a rat got in here because <laughs> I, did, I never made the video on that because I wanted it to be uh, a good video, but I never, there was just so much to us hunting down this rat. Anyway, when I had been running some wires under here, I uh, I um, <clears throat> removed the undercarriage right here, and I think a rat just like climbed on something and got in there. Anyway, that thing plagued us for a couple months, and it was everywhere in our in our house, man. Those things, dude. That's what they do. They find little holes, and it found ways, paths, to route itself all throughout the house. It was disgusting. It was a horrible time for us, man. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Uh, so anyway, the Cat 5 is going to come over here. Like I said, the switches will just be placed right there. It's kind of nice because they're like little shelves. Um, and then what I'm going to do is follow this pipe right here. And we're going to be following the same uh, path that the... Uh, for the laundry and so this is a drainage pipe for the laundry uh you can have an optional washing machine and dryer in the closet and so this was the hot and cold water and then this is going to be the drain right so i'm going to follow this so if you go up here and i already sealed it with great stuff because i didn't want a rat going in there so i'm gonna have to cut that away but so i'll show you where that ends up okay so we're in the bedroom right now and do you see uh this piece right here that is where that black pipe went up and in the back so this is with the drawer open, and then in the very back, light on for you. Oh my god, there's a rat right there. Okay, no, that's my sock. Uh, yeah, so there, it's, uh, there's a 45 degree, like, uh, board that kind of, like, covers where, um, it's a place to, to route some, those pipes. And I'm gonna put the Cat6 cable in there. The same thing, this is the, the, uh, what we use for our dirty clothes. And, um, oh my god. Um, so yeah, that goes into the closet. And there's a little ledge right there, and the same is true for inside the closet. So once I'm in the closet, there's these shelves right here, and I just need to, uh, in the very corner, I'll just cut a small hole. And um, and then, yeah, that is the corner. That's where I want to put the camera. So it'll be in the very, very corner there is where uh, the Cat6 cable will go through the wall. <clears throat> and when I'm down here, I'll run two wires, actually. You can see this is elevated right here, so there's actually a subflooring under this. So I'll have to figure out how to get under this, or just route it on top of this. I don't know if it really matters with that cable management thing. And anyway, so yeah, that should show you. That's how I get up to the corner over there, in the very corner. I forgot, this is in the bathroom, and it's right over the cargo bay area. Uh, the stairs are right here, that's where the, the PoE switch is going to be. And um, I'm going to have to figure I'll figure this out, but it's going to... I'm going to be cutting a hole in the bottom of these cabinets, and then they're really deep cabinets, so it's going to go all the way in the back here. I'm going to put some holes in the shelving and just route the Cat6 cable, and then in the very corner over here, I'm going to create a hole, uh, put a hole right there with that cable management uh, decorative covering, and then about center right here, I'm going to drill a hole through, and the, the uh, IP cam is going to be facing out looking downward over there in the shower. It's not going to be a shower cam. Sorry guys. This is really weird because I know that I ordered two of these cameras like three days ago now and I just looked at my orders list on Amazon and they're not showing up. It shows that I didn't even order these. I also ordered two of the Amcrest cameras. Anyway, I don't know what's going on. So I'm trying these cameras out. They got pretty good reviews. Um, they had a problem in 2016 with Blue Iris, the software that I'm using, but it sounds like from the latest reviews, they worked out those problems with their drivers. 
and look at the price of this thing. This is a, a four megapixel camera. It also has a, a microphone built into it. It's rated for outdoors, um, and it's just really budget. I mean, look at this price compared. Wait, before I do that, I'm gonna make sure that this goes through. I'm clicking the buy buy now button, and I've got it set to two. And this is proof that I'm ordering it. I'm not going crazy. Boom. It says, thank you, your one-click order has been placed. So I know that I ordered this. It better arrive. So I want to show you the Armcrest version of the cameras. Now look at this price difference. I mean, this is literally twice the price. And it doesn't have um, audio built into it. And yeah, you can find Armcrest cameras for a lot cheaper, a 1080p version. But this is uh, analog. It's not digital, not, not an IP cam. Okay, and these arm crests, oh my god, they're a lot more expensive. Um, I've tried them before, and I know that the software is really nice. So uh, arm, crest from, arm crest, from what I understand, is um, the same as FOSS cam, but it's, or at least the the, cam, the PTZ cameras that I w had been using before, I know that uh, arm crest is just the uh, USA distribution channel, and they have their own software for it. So it's the same hardware as FOSS cam. Um, but it's just rebranded Armcrest with better software. At least that's how it was. Uh, anyway, they yeah, they make nice cameras. Okay, and uh, click in the buy now. Let's see if this goes through. Boom. Your order has been placed. So that is my roadmap. This is the camera I'm going to be installing. Um, hopefully you guys can watch and see my finished project. Hey guys, this isn't the last in the series, so stay tuned to get notified of the next part in the series. Click subscribe and also click that little ding 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 bell and that way you get a notification when the next part comes out. Stay tuned.